Hello and welcome to Kavi Pro Wrestling. Tonight we'll be taking a look at some of the most memorable moments in recent All or Nothing history. And of course we cannot talk about All or Nothing without mentioning Big Ace Montana who in 2013 did not wrestle but was still a big part of the show. That same year, Louis G. Rich, the wrestler of the millennium, was seeking to start his career as a singles competitor, but first he'll take care of Brandon Bishop, his former partner from the Bay City Trashers. Oh, there you go! That'll shut him up! That was the lead! Look at this! The bell has been rung and so is Louis G. Rich's bell! Really? Yes, I went there! Oh, no, you did Louis G. Rich coming off the ropes though. Crossbody catches him. Brandon Bishop catches him. There you go. Come on, Louis. There we go. There we go, Louis. That's why he's the wrestler of the millennium right there. Brandon Bishop now stopping after Louis G. Rich on the outside. Oh, big right here. Get hand. it in the ring, Richie. Wait, wait. But now fighting back Louis G. Rich, these two men trading blows this grudge match Makes right here cry. at All or Nothing 7. Makes me cry. Would you like a Kleenex? No. I'm a little emotional right now. I hate to see this, but like I said, Brandon's got to learn his lesson. Well, I'm liking to see this because Brandon Bishop is teaching Louis G. Rich a He's lesson a, right now. Look. Close fist. Let's hear that again. Way. Let's hear that again. That was awesome. No. Calm down, Howie. Do it again! Do it again! No! Hey. I like it. Brandon Bishop now going after Louis G. Oh, but Louis G. Rich with that knee right to the face. Now running for him. Takes Brandon Bishop right back down to the floor. Oh no, Here Louis, we go. Louis Here G. Rich! We go. Louis is flying! Oh, and dives on Brandon Bishop right to the floor. Look at Louis fly. You are Louis, you are. No, I, I'm sorry. No. Crowd is so disrespectful to Louis. Wrestler of the millennium. There we go. Pounding away now on the back 
of Brandon Bishop. Classic Lewis right there, classic. Big back elbow, beautiful elbow. Ooh. Flat back sent on to As Brandon Bishop, hook his leg to cover one, two, two, and three. Nope. You were wrong again. Can we seriously get some younger referees? Don't be making fun of Richie White. He'll come over and He's old. crack you across the face. No. Now, Brandon Bishop has lost you. Oh, Lucia Rich able to maneuver no, out. No, that's crazy. Oh, oh, let's see you maneuver out of that one. Cover. Kick out, Louie. Kick out. Kick out, Louie. There we go. Two count. Two. Two. I don't like the fingers you use to count to two. It was a two count, a two count. Brandon Bishop. Oh. oh. Massive knee to the midsection of Louis G. Rich. Louis G. Rich goes off the ropes Ooh. again. Another knee, now winds up that arm, hooks him. Oh, beautiful neck breaker. And these two guys know each other, each other so well. But I'm still pulling for Louis to teach Brandon a lesson. Come on, Brandon. Come on, Louis. Brandon. Louis. Brandon. Louis. Brandon. I'm not doing this all night with you. Yes, you are. Because guess what? God, we have a job to do. Where is he? Alan Cross just lost. Now Lewis G. Rich whips off Brandon Bishop. Oh, okay. that's beautiful leg layer. Beautiful leg I will, Of course it was I'm, a beautiful leg layer. It's what? fantastic yeah. Rich. But it wasn't beautiful enough. It was gorgeous. And I think I used to call Brandon my friend. What's wrong with you? He betrayed us. He us. betrayed Lewis, his best friend for 15 years. What was this us? Us. There we go. I like to think Brandon Bishop found a light. He needs to find a light. Go through the tunnel. Take hey. left in Albuquerque hey. and keep on going. Hey. There we go. Beautiful headbutt. Classic Lewis. It's all wrapped up. Now, Lewis is off the corner by reversal. Brandon Bishop comes off. Oh, big move right to the face of Lewis G. Rich. That was not all. Lewis is too pretty to take Lewis to the face. Come on, Lewis. Oh, kick out. Beautiful not enough. kick out. Oh, they got a two count. Really? Referee Richie White saying it was that close. It was that close. It could have been over in just mere seconds, and it wasn't. Come on, Lewis. Now, oh, driving shoulder first into the midsection. Lewis G. Rich now comes off. Oh. Big elbow to the back of the head. There's something illegal about that. Number one, two, and yes. Oh. Way to go, Louie. It's going to take more than that to beat the wrestler of the millennium. And I think Brandon Bishop knows how to do it. Why could, no, Louis They've known each other for him. 15 years. Who else could take out Louis G. Rich yes. if not somebody who's known him for 15 yes, years? Yes, but Brandon was Louis's coat man. He brought his coat out to the ring. He escorted him to the his ring coat when man. he came into Covey Louis taught everything Brandon knows, but he didn't teach him everything Louis knows. So now, watch. Look, that's it. One. Oh. Come on. Hey, ref, ref, get in there. Ref, ref you have to stop it. Yeah. Oh, Who's a man? I really don't like Louis G. Rich. I love Louis. You're the only person in this building who likes Louis no, G. Rich. No, CEO loves Louis G. Rich. I'm sure this breaks his heart too, but they had. Oh! Ooh. How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? I'm the newest up-and-coming star of Cover Pro Wrestling. Your Saturday Night Delight, Brown Sugar Jones. I ain't always been the nicest guy, so always depending on my friends, where the holds bonding, to have my back. Now they're located in Martinsburg, West Virginia, at 306 West Stephens Street. You can also give them a ring there on the phone, 304-267-5888. They offer affordable financing. Tell them Brown Sugar sent you.
Come and enjoy the delicious flavors of Mexico at Mi Ranchito. Fresh, authentic Mexican dishes prepared with the finest traditional recipes. Our friendly staff and family ambience will make you feel as if you are visiting Mexico. Mi Ranchito, a family Mexican restaurant, will be saving a seat for you. Share. See every Cubby Pro show going all the way back to the beginning on September 23rd, 2006 with bonus footage and original shows, original programming, and at all costs. Brandon Bishop. As he tells it, look, take the big man down. It is very smart wrestling. I'm not taking anything away from the wrestling ability of Louis G. Rich. I just don't like him personally. He's a little oh, bit. He of doesn't a, like you personally. He's a bit of a jerk. And so are you, actually. I'm proud to be a jerk. You're wearing sunglasses inside, dude. The glare off your head. Just tearing away now at the leg and knee. Brandon Bishop, but he got he has the rope. He's got to the count of five. He broke before five. See, all legal. But it isn't right. He couldn't see that Brandon had the rope. Are you kidding me? Really? His vantage point, he couldn't see it. Now whips him off into the opposite corner. Here comes Lewis G. Rich. Ooh. Flying butt butt now comes off the rope. So oh, big corner oh, knee. Beautiful knee. That's it. Pin him, Lou, it's all over. Body cover, one, two. Sorry. Yes! It wasn't enough! Yes! Brandon Bishop able to kick out, Come that was on, awesome! Louis. Come on, Brandon! Oh, now the fans want to cheer for him. A couple months That's ago. right, Brandon! Brandon, let's hear it! See? Now Brandon fighting off Lewis G. Rich. Oh, he's like, no. There we go. It ain't gonna happen. Lewis G. Rich, what's he set setting him up? Big. Climbing up slowly to that top turnbuckle. Can we see a... a oh, wait a minute. No. Suplex, That's it. This, if he hits this, this is it. And it's oh! over. But the thing about a superplex is it takes energy out of both competitors. This was a risky, risky move by Lewis G. Rich. And does he have it in him to capitalize on this? Of course this? he's got it in him. He's the wrestler of the millennium. But right now, both on, men Lewis. are down. Just roll him over. Put your arm across and that's it. There you go. There you go. Has him covered. That's One, it. It's all over. Two. It's no. Come on. Not enough, Louie. I swear, when CEO does take over the company tonight, we're getting new refs. That's it. I'm done. There is he a, a chance that CEO is going to walk away with the ownership of this company. A chance? Who's he got to beat Mr. C? He's tapping out. Look, that is he's not tapping a tap. Out. He's, he's feeding, tapping out. He's taking he's in the energy out. from the crowd here in Berkeley Springs, West Virginia. He's fighting off Lewis G. Rich. Those shots to the midsection. Oh, now. Now he has Lewis no, G. Rich up. No. Where's he going to take him? He does. No! Yes! Oh, the DDT! Yes! But does he have enough to capitalize? No, he does not. Come on, Lewis. Come on, Brandon. It's on ropes. Brandon, come on. Cover one. No. Two. He got Lewis. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> yes. That's my man, Louis oh. G. Rich, right there. My head can't take this anymore. Then go home. I can do this by myself. No, you can't. No. I can get somebody out of the crowd to do it better than you. 
These two men now slugging and out back and forth. Big shots to the face. Chop. This is tension just coming out ahead right here. Oh, big right hand. Oh, oh but now that forearm. Oh. And it's over. It's not over yet. It's, over. it's not over it's yet. It's over. Luis Jurich has been this way for a cover, and I don't think he has the energy to do it. Both men have taken a lot of punishment in this matchup. Pulling him to the middle of the ring. Looking to cover. That's it. One. One. Two. two. That's it. Yes! Come on! Luis. Yes! Brandon Bishop able to kick out. Come on, Luis. Think of something, man. I think Luis Jurich is running out of options. Wait a minute, I see that light bulb. Ooh. He's got an idea. Is he thinking of going up? Is he thinking of going up top? He is known for his high flying acrobats. I love it. How often does Louis G. Richard go to the every top? Every time. Level? Every time. He should be a cruiserweight. Oh! Well, that wasn't too pretty. But effective. And uh, Brandon that Bishop. Hurt me. Now has Lewis G. Rich perched on that top rope. Climbing up on, Lewis G. Rich. I still blame it's all Brandon's fault they lost the titles. All their all Brandon's fault that I lost my match. Everything. It's all no, Brandon's Rich, fault. Rich is trying to fight him off. Oh wait a break of the eyes! Wasn't a rake of the eyes, he just pushed him off. Oh! oh. There we go. That's it. No! Oh. It's all over. It's no, it's it. not. It it's over. No. One, no. two, three. No! Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Louis G. Brick. No! Second row face. Nobody Buster. wanted to, I love that. Nobody I wanted to see, see this. Nobody I wanted to see this. Too. Nobody cares what you want. Brandon, I didn't want to see the Bay City Thrashers, one of the greatest tag teams fall apart, but Brandon had to be taught a lesson, and Louis taught him that lesson. Good job, Lewis. I am not a happy man. I'm not happy sitting next to you. Oh, oh, okay, now wait a minute. No, come on. Come on. This is not cool. This, this is, is very come cool. On. No, don't. Don't do that's it. Oh, come on. Ring the bell. Keep ringing the bell. Go. That's what he gets. His, that's what he gets. Come on. Come on. No, don't do this. That's what he gets. He deserves every bit of this. Break his leg. No. Break his leg, Louis. Don't do this. Bre Look, God, there's no need to do this. There is there, absolutely there's no necessary. need to do this. What is Louis G. Rich's problem? Brandon turned his back on him. Best friends, 15 years, tag team champion. No, 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 don't, don't do this! Oh! Oh, come on, we, we, have to, we have to get help out here. From there, Louis G. Rich went on to become not only the King of Maryland, but also the Kobe Pro Heavyweight Champion. Nation, right now let's move on to 2014. Mickey James, the first ever Kobe Pro Women's Champion, visited us for a special interview with Donnie Diablo. Give it straight, I am the voice of reason in Kobe Pro. And you know what? Although none of you in here deserve what I'm about to give you, I'm gonna do it anyway. Why? Because I, I'm better than everybody clearly in here. And you know, we said we would show you Mickey James, so why don't we just bring Mickey James out? Why don't we bring Mickey James out so all you West Virginia inbred hillbilly morons get something that you want out of tonight? How about it? You've been gone for a couple years. What have you been doing in the meantime? 
gone where? I've been gone where for a couple of years. Oh, you've not I think I've, I've been here. I've been there. I've been everywhere. Just like Johnny Cash. I've been working on my music. I've been wrestling. I've been being me and I've been wrestling. A little bit of everything. What have you been doing? Besides wearing some really awesome gloves. Yeah, these are awesome gloves, aren't they? You know, there, there's a rumor going around, and I just want to see if we can confirm this or not, that you're pregnant. It's my personal life, but sure, yes, I'm pregnant. Thank you. So, first child. All right, first child. So there's going to be another change in the world. All right, well, I don't know, what's, what's next for Mickey James? Where are you going next? What do you want to do, do next? Uh, I don't really know. Like, this obviously has taken me on a whole nother course. Um, it's a little unexpected, but a very wonderful and beautiful course in my life. And so I'm really excited about it. So who's, who's to say what's next, except for a lot of that? <laughs> and, you know, some baby rocking, with cradle pushing, stuff like that. So we're going to see Mickey James back on the ring anytime soon? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know? Yeah, because yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know either, especially after having the baby. I don't really think you're going to make a Divas calendar again, do you? altercation brought Jessie Bell's mother the longest reigning Kobe Pro Women's Champion in history to challenge the current champion at the time, Amber Rodriguez, for the title. Nation, it's time for a quick commercial break, but when we come back, we'll see Amber Rodriguez taking on Jessie Bell's mother. Lewis G. Rich here. As a former Covey Pro Tag Team Champion, there's nothing I won't do to get my tag title back, which sometimes means things 
that are outside of the law. But I never worry because I know I can always call Eric S. Black, attorney at law. That's Eric S. Black, attorney at law. 304-258-2931. So remember, when you see the blue, call the black. Hello, and you're watching Covey Pro Wrestling. Before the commercial break, we saw how an interview with Mickey James brought us a match between Jesse Bell's mother and Amber Rodriguez. Right now, let's see this match. Tying up already. Tight on an elbow. Amber Rodriguez pushes Jesse Bell. Oh. Slap to the face. Returning the favor is Jesse. Nice arms drag takedown. Make it two. And a hip block takeover from Jesse Bell. Nice cravat. Into a snapmare takeover. Into a rear wing scissors. She is cutting off the oxygen going into the lungs for one. And it's a roll through into a pinning combination, but Amber was able to roll one through it. Good attempt to counter from Amber, but here we go over again. Only one. Now Amber flipping back for the pin attempt. This is making Amber work even harder, and Jesse's giving her the pin of the ring. Oh. So not only are you losing breath every time you take one in, as that vice squeezes in a little tighter, now you're dizzy from having rolled around the ring. Think of a boa constrictor. And now think of a Bronco. Oh. Swing out bomb into a pin, hooks the leg. Only one. The women's champ seems to be taking the brunt of the assault right now. And the women's champion bails to the outside. And that's a smart move. After the offense, Jesse Bell put in order. She needs to catch her breath. Well, Jesse Bell giving her a chance to catch her breath, but here's the thing: she can't win the belt by a countout. So all Amber's got to do is keep walking around. Yeah, but Amber better watch her back. Right hand from Amber Rodriguez. Irish whip reverse. Make it two. And Jesse eats the corner post. Right back in. You're right. She is the ultimate opportunist. The Bariqua Barbie. The Barbie killer. She's got about a thousand nicknames. This works to Amber's advantage. As does that arm snap off the second rope. Jesse's well known for that Southern Comfort finish, and it takes both arms to apply it properly. Well, and you don't think that our women's champ, being crafty and being from New York herself, is going to realize that that's the way to go? Showing off a little for the crowd. She may be showing off now, but we, we know she's done her homework for this match. I think they enjoyed that show. Now right back here with the boost in the midsection, right back to work on that left arm. Hammer lock with the knee driven into the shoulder blades, make it two. And there's a third. Really focusing on the elbow joint and shoulder. Yeah, she's, like you said, you know, southern discomfort. And she's not able to, you know, a variation of a gory bond. And she's not able to get that locked in without the use of both arms. We've seen this before. We have indeed. It's time for a little bump and grind. Right into the scissor stomp. There's nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. I think Jesse would disagree with you at the moment. Probably so, but nevertheless, to the hook of the leg. Only two, not enough yet. But Jesse's left arm is obviously injured right back into that hammer lock. As our champ continues to work over the arm. Focusing her attack on that elbow and shoulder. And there's a knee drop to the elbow, as we said. 
make it two. And I was punching away at the elbow. Now you can you can almost see the swelling I'm starting right now. She's done serious damage to that arm. Amber had an arm bar flag, but Jesse fight up. I spoke too soon. Hair takedown from Amber Rodriguez. What hair takedown? That was a snap match. Amber going right back to work on that arm. You see, Jesse tried to reach through to prevent that from happening. Amber having that arm torqued around her own leg, she was able to drive her knee into the shoulder while working on the elbow. Into a quick pin, both legs up. Only two. You know the old cliche about living to fight another day? Double clothesline from Amber and Jesse. Living to fight another day may apply in some situations, but Jesse Bell, the Southern Spitfire, she doesn't give up that quick or that easily. But the damage that has been done to the arm, that arm has been worked over, and she's still got to be out there on the road. She's still got to make a living. Bringing that boot to the second, cuts off, fires back with a shot to the jaw. Amber misses and takes a chop to the face. And a big neck takedown. Snapmare takeover. With a drive back kick to the jaw and a double leg drop. Only two. Just the two count. Jesse seems to be able to, until now, mount and some offense. Jesse fell both in the suplex. Snap suplex with a float over. She's still got her locked in tight. Make it two. Oh, this could be Trace Amigos. Shades of Eddie Guerrero. Third time the jerk, float over into the pin, hooks the leg. Only two. What's that Amber's got on her hand? Nothing. Looks like brass nuts to me. You bet you need glasses. Schoolboy takedown. All of the way to put their shoulders. There you go. Still at the and still, Tony Plum, women's champion. Hi everybody, this is Jim Cornette. If you need an attorney, you want one with integrity, compassion, and excellence. The Iceman, Nicholas Colvin, attorney at law. He could have talked Nixon out of Watergate, and he could help you. 304-260-8823. If you or your loved ones need more than just an average lawyer, you need to choose a champion. Call now, 304-260-8823. Call the Iceman. Fantastic, go ahead and let's make that up. Fox's Pizza, 304-258-8000. They do deliver, 304-258-8000. Oh my, oh my goodness, let's open that up. Stay here and open that up with me. Oh, that's definitely a pizza for Big John Green. Fox's Pizza is a proud sponsor of Covey Pro Wrestling and a major ticket outlet. The time for our main event has arrived, and tonight we'll be taking a look at the Contra Coalition match of 2015. You know, I don't, I, I don't know. It's, I really see something different out of Trevor. He's, he's lost something, or maybe he's found something. It's like he has no emotion left. He has no soul. You saw that entrance. How chilling was that? He found the shadow, and sometimes that shadow is what is needed. But Dylan Bostic did not need that chair. Neither. Oh, Napalm Bob's going to town with that ladder. 
I don't even know like, how you can focus in on one thing. We got John Boy, you got Raphael over here. I'm not even sure who he's fighting. Latin Tornado was tearing it up with. And sticks a lot of rage in it, and they bomb bomb. It's changing so quick. That's why we have to have three reps out here. You see, we got Bill Jacobs, Bruce, and Charles. They're all out here. This is chaos. That's the way it's made. Oh, oh John's coming over here. Oh, great. This is way too early in the night for this. We got him coming. Let's keep a distance. Meanwhile. Oh, he just suplexed him right in front of us. Big suplex from Trevor Allen on John Boy. But look in the ring. Latin Tornado's making a quick break point. Good call on his part. Well, how about, how about this? You look in the ring. I'll watch to make sure we're not about to get crushed. We've had that problem before, Donnie. You keep your eyes open, brother. Yeah, we had that problem a couple times last year. Right here, as a matter of fact. On the outside, it looks like CEO and John Boy Justice are going at each other. The bimbo in the brain as oh, Dylan Boston. going up. Trevor Allen cuts him off. Quick, quick shots to the back of the neck. Beautifully done. And Tornado is heading outside the ring. You got McPoint Dexter taking a big European uppercut from my pound, Dylan Bostic. Wait, now Trevor's going up. That's the key to this kind of match. Get everybody away from you as best you can. You have to make that window of opportunity. Oh. And John Boy Justice just closed that window on Trevor's ankle. And not only that, but I think every rung of that ladder, Trevor, like, hit his face across. It's now John Boy going up. He's almost all the way up. King in for the save. CEO coming in as well. This is not good. The hardest part of the match. Oh, now you got three guys trying to go up, and I don't know what McPoindexter's doing. Now, down the two, you got King and John Boy, and... The they're with arms length to the, uh, the briefcase. Well, here comes Trevor, here comes Poindexter, and they're fighting over the same ladder. Meanwhile, on the outside, Latin Tornado. And Dylan Bostic. Raphael keep firing away on John Boy Justice up there. He's in an arm reach. Uh, meanwhile, I mean, Poindexter's down and getting hammered. Well, Trevor's got the ladder. The ladder is a weapon. And he's using it on all of them. You see John Boy trying to kick it away. That just made Trevor go for his knee. And then for Raphael King's back. Now CEO introducing Doughboy to that turnbuckle. John Boy. Raphael King tries to kick away Trevor Allen with no avail. Oh, Napalm Bomb just had his head rammed in to that hard ring apron by Bostic. Bostic's taking on both Napalm and Latin Tornado. We got three men headed up. Two more men in position to make the cutout. What kicks from Trevor? Beautiful round kicks, but he got cut off by CEO. And Raphael King, and King's going up now too. Now we got four men. But look who's up there. Make it five, and there you go. He just parted the Red Sea. Napalm. Without Napalm Bomb, this would have been over. Well, he says he's the savior of Cubby Pro, and he just proved it. Big kick on Raphael, and an even bigger elbow shot. <laughs> it's chaos out there, folks. I'm sorry if we miss anything. We don't have a choice. There's so much going on, it's impossible to call everything. Well, it's impossible to even forecast who you think is going to win. You came out and said the wild card, McPoindexter. I'm saying Trevor Allen because the, 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 there you see. There's one of the reasons I said Trevor. He just doesn't care anymore. And Trevor's heading north. But it seems like we both wrote off that guy. Jumping punch, and Trevor went down like a ton of bricks. I might want to change my prediction, Chris. Hi, I'm Cubby Pro Superstar and the voice of reason, Dashing Donnie Diablo. When I tell you you should make the trip down to 979 North Frederick Avenue in Gaithersburg to King Volkswagen Kia, you know I'm telling you the truth. At King VW, you'll be treated right, from our state-of-the-art service department to our knowledgeable sales staff. 
King Volkswagen's commitment to service makes car buying fun again. And you won't have to wrestle us for the best prices and service all around. I'm taking nothing away from Napalm Bomb. I'm just surprised they haven't... Oh! Well, you know, Chris, it's been a few months since we've seen this monster, and he comes back, and he is... Being as dominant as in when he left. Exactly. I'm just surprised more. they haven't focused on Napalm Bomb. I would consider him the biggest physical threat. I life. wouldn't focus on him either. I'd be trying to keep my distance. I would have just stayed out back. I wouldn't even came to the ring and knowing he was going to be in there. Trevor's going head to head with Napalm. Well, we've established that. Trevor doesn't care. And Trevor probably still doesn't care, but he's not got a head. Trevor swallowed that foot down to the kneecap. You I don't care who you are, that's gonna take you down. And the big man's all alone in the ring. That ladder's seen better days though. It has indeed, I mean, it's... You've had think... four or five guys at a time on that ladder. Big super kick from King. Make it two. Had to be two, the first didn't take Napalm off his feet. It staggered him, but didn't drop him. Now, that tornado. Oh! Humongous DDT! Wow! And Napalm may be done. We talk about how dominant, what a monster he is, but I I'm not sure anybody's gonna get up from that. There's certain things you can't build up. Come on, the neck and the top of the head is one of them. Your hey. joints is your impact point. And he got all of it across that hard, unforgiving wood floor. Look up high! Oh wait, Trevor's in position, but that ladder is looking horrible. I don't even know if it's gonna hold. And there was Dylan Bostic for the save. Well, if it wasn't Dylan, that ladder might have went any time. The Bimbo's made a heck of an impact in this match. He is. I'm glad you're finally, uh, finally warming up to my pal Dylan. Well, I've still got no love for Dylan Bostic, but I'll give credit where credit is due even to a bimbo like him. Well, he just fell for King. Now King gets cut off by Trevor Allen, but, uh... Napalm's got a weapon. Oh, Lord. The man's a walking weapon of mass destruction, and now he's got a chair. Yeah, that's kind of overkill there. CEO reigning in forums? Oh, CEO. <laughs> At this point, you know, CEO's using his head. It's better to be this guy's friend than his enemy because he's wielding a chair. Well, that did him no favors when Dylan Bostic swept his leg. No. Napalm's still working people over with that chair. Uh, Bostic's in it to win it. Bostic, you don't see him making any sort of alliances. He's he's out for himself, and now... Smart move from John Boy Justice, trying to straighten out that ladder so it's physically usable. Did you say smart and John Boy in the same sentence? Look, heading north, but he got cut off. Well, Napalm Palm. He's like the... At night right now, none shall pass. He's not letting anybody at that, well, CEO has slipped one in. Big DDT! CEO's doing a smart move, trying to sneak in the back door when no one's looking. Well, Raphael King's not going to be looking. He just ate that DDT and Napalm. He's not even worried about it. CEO is hung up on the top and out to the floor he goes. Oh, with a little assistance from John Boy. Oh, there's no love lost there. You know that. Now, there's definitely no love lost there. Look at Dexter go to work with that ladder. Well, he gets one, gets two. Terry Funk special from Dexter McQueen Dexter. Well, he gets three, but oh, wow, well, four. He got King. Now John Boy. Bostic going down. He's got what? One left. And now he takes out CEO. Trifecta. Seven up, seven down. He took them all out. And the brain is all alone! Well, you might need to shore up that ladder. I don't... I don't see that ladder being able to make it much longer. That ladder has just about had it, Donnie. It has seen its better days. But he's got an open window if he can make it. Oh, well, not now. Oh! Fall away neck breaker from John Bostic. Well... Like Poindexter, I was gonna say, is... 
far worse shape because he landed right in the waiting arms of that jackal Raphael Key who came in and took Boston down now and now CEO. Ladder shot to the head, followed up by the big boot in the corner from CEO. Short D -D -D. DDT, I believe it was onto the chair. I believe you're right. Well, there's not really a whole lot of exposed uh, ring canvas at this point. It's covered in weapons. You got a chair, you got a few ladders, a couple broken bodies. And a Latin tornado beating away on... Another DDT! That DDT seems to be Latin Tornado's go-to and has done him very well so far. Well, what a ruthless DDT it is. Quick. I mean, you see the DDT a lot now, but nobody does it like Latin Tornado. Short trip, bad landing. Well, Latin Tornado and, oh no. Ace Crusher from the top of the ladder. Wow. Tornado's all alone. Well, he's trying to shore up the... He's trying to use the green ladder to make the orange ladder stay in place. Yeah, Tornado. we saw this. We saw this a, a while back. Powder in the eyes. Napalm wow. bomb with powder in the eyes for the Latin Tornado. He's heading north. There's no one to stop oh, him. Oh, man. Oh, here comes King. Here comes CEO. John Boy's got the bottom of that. Bostic's up. He's heading up. Trevor's coming up, too. Everybody's and, oh, coming wow. up for Napalm Bomb. Things are not looking good for Napalm Bomb. Wait a minute. CEO taking out Bostic. And Trevor's trying to go up on Trevor's Saturday going King. up. They got his foot. King getting kicked down. And now CEO. Everybody's trying. Yo, know, you got, look, you got John Boy coming up the other side. You got Bostic going up now as Allen goes down. You got McPoint Dexter. Dexter's almost up to him. Oh, he's kicking people away. Now Latin Tornado back up. He's coming up the other ladder. There goes CEO. You can't say that they hadn't had, oh, Latin Tornado and King. Latin Tornado's fighting everybody off. Look, it, it, look north. Too little, too late! No, Bostick's out! Oh, whoa! Ladies and gentlemen! Wow! The winner of the contract collision ladder match! And the right to challenge for the Cubby Pro Heavyweight Championship! due to Napalm Bomb. You saw how that went down. The man had to fight tooth and nail while standing on top of a ladder. The man earned it tonight. Love him or hate him, Napalm Bomb earns this shot. And when the time comes, God help the champion. Napalm Bomb cashed the briefcase a few months later and became the first ever African-American Kobe Pro heavyweight champion. Nation, that's it for me this week. Thank you so much for watching Kobe Pro Wrestling. Everyone, have a good night.